Hey, welcome back from James D. I got my third Vertex Turbo today, and I've already got it in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the way to optimize the solid state drives with Windows 7. And it should only take about a half hour for me to go through this. Uh, 10 minutes video time, of course. And after which, I'm going to run a couple benchmarks and show you the results. So, stay tuned. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do, which I have already done, is to bust up your RAID array. Now, if you had RAID 0 or something like that going, you wanted to go and uh, hit Control i and just delete those arrays. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is go back into the BIOS here and hit load defaults and go into here and make sure the CD-ROM is first boot. And also that this says IDE. Make, that's very important. Make sure that says IDE. And also with your Windows 7 retail Put the 32 bit in. We're not installing the 32, but it'll become clear in a few minutes why we need the 32. All right, so here we are at the disk screen for the 32 bit Windows 7. Now, as I said, we're not going to install onto here, we're just going to run. Go to repair your computer. Okay. Now I already wiped out my RAID array that was on there before. So you want to go to command prompt. Now type disk part. Okay, this will take about 10 seconds to load up. Type list disk and that'll show you everything on there. Okay, there's my three vertex turbos, there's my two caviar blacks, and that is a USB drive right there. So we're gonna end up doing for each one of these, with the exception of the caviar blacks and the USB, select disk zero, type clean that'll take out any partitioning that was on there. And then you do clean all. Now that'll wipe the drive to zero, okay? That's not the last thing we're gonna do, all right? So you're gonna do clean and clean all, clean all for the three solid state drives. And for the two caviar blacks, you just do clean, okay? Don't even bother with clean all for that. You can format it later. And don't touch your USB drive, obviously. So we're going to do this, then I'm going to shut down the computer, and we're going to come back to this and do something called Sanitary Erase, which I have on my USB drive. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so here we are again. We're going to go straight back to where we were. Man prompt. Now you're going to go back into disk part. And with the jump drive with sanitary erase on it, you'll want to type list volume. Okay, there's the drive letter of the jump drive. So, exit. And now I had to do some reading up on how to do this DOS stuff. It's, it's been a while since I played Duke Nukem 3D. Uh, just do C and then colon and DIR. And there's Sanitary Erase right there. So all you gotta do is type Sanitary Erase.exe. And here's your drives. So what you're gonna want to do is one, two, three. 
drive zero, one, and two. Let's do one at a time. Now, this is only available to work with this 32-bit disc, which is why I'm using it. It doesn't work on the 64. Okay. So now I'm going to shut down and then rebuild my array in 128k stripe, by the way. Okay, here we are again. Same place. Go to... Alright, now, go back into disk part. And I've created the RAID 0 arrays, both with the Vertex Turbos and the 640 Blacks in separate arrays. Type list disk and that's the jump drive never mind that. see there they are now I'll type select disk zero and list partition you can see no partition yet so what we're gonna do is type create partition primary align equals 128 list partition and now type active okay so that's for proper alignment okay which is very important so type exit to get out of there and then shut down and now we're going to put the 64 disc in and we're going to get rocking and installing it. Okay, same spot again, except now. Obviously, go to install now. Now, the reasoning for that partition is go to custom. There you see it right there. Okay. Go to advanced format. Okay, this one, don't touch. Just leave it alone. Don't touch it. Okay. And this as well. Don't delete it. Don't do anything. And install on today. And this should be right quick. Okay, so here we are in Windows 7. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is get your internet connection up and going, whichever you're doing. And secondly, to go to your motherboard manufacturer website, in my case, EVGA, and get your chipset and Intel Matrix Storage Manager downloads. Now here's the chipset drivers you want to get first. Done. This is extremely important. So after this installs, I'm going to restart and then come back and I'll show you a tweak you can do which will give you awesome read write speeds.